What's up, everyone? Welcome to a foreigner Filipina journey in the Philippines. Today, we're going to be talking to my wife. We're going to be interviewing my wife. And what we're going to be talking about today is a Filipina married to a foreigner. What to expect? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Adeline, um, let's uh, let's start it out. What did uh, um, like, what did you expect? Um, what did you, what changes did you go through? Tell us. Um, well, for me, I expect baby. <laughs> I expect the mixed baby. <laughs> the mixed race baby. <laughs> and you didn't get a baby yet. yet. Tell them that. Not yet. <laughs> And then changes, well, there's a lot of changes, especially because I was independent. I live here, I live here alone in, the, in Cavite, Las Marinas, Cavite. I was working, and my family is far away from me. They're living in the province, and since then, I used to be alone in bed. Now I have money in my... <laughs> behind me <laughs> sleeping <thing. laughs> so I, it's at I think first in, it's hard to adjust at first yeah i think in in all cases you know a lot of a lot of people are, are alone for a while so you yeah. know that makes a difference and then it's um well there's a changes because my routine it's changed it's a well, change. what do you mean by your routine well in the morning <laughs> in the morning, uh, I will think, before I will think my job first or when I stop working, I think the store first and then I think myself, now I need to think of you also. Hey. You're my priority now. <laughs> That's, That's very well. nice. Hear that? <laughs> Hear that, everyone? I'm your priority. And then next, well, downstairs, the bakery. Yeah. How about how about um, um, something like uh, what what uh, what what did you encounter? Like like for instance. Um, was there anything that you encountered that you had to get used to or or that was that was hard for you at first or it may be hard for you even now yet? Encounter about what? Mm, about people talking about us, talking about you like that how about how about like communication oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> communication barrier <laughs> hello communication. you know where my wife is <laughs> language barrier yeah there you go there you go <laughs> sorry <laughs> um yeah because as i've told you before when we're talking the Skype before before we met in person, I was looking at the dictionary <laughs> so that I can I can reply to you. But now I don't need to uh, look to the dictionary because I can ask you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So so you actually admitted that you had to look in the look in the dictionary to yeah, find out sometimes. what some words meant. Yeah. 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 But now. If I don't know the English of this, well, I can ask you, Malco, what's this? What's mm -hmm. the English of this? <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, I, I, I speak three languages, Visaya, Tagalog, and English. Visaya to my family in the province, and here, that's my ability. And, of course, before... I am the one who washed my clothes. Now you're the one who washed my clothes. 
that's a big changes. <laughs> um, any anything else? Um, anything that you that that uh, that you know? Obviously, there's there's you, you've talked about the good, like good and 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 the and the bad things, or or you know the the differences and stuff like that. Um, can do you want to add any more? Um, any any more like uh, what like anything that is that has changed, um, uh, whether it be whether it be with with friends or with family or whatever. Oh yeah, because before in in friends, if my friends ask me to go out, I can go out easily, but now. Oh, for example, if I go out as well, I need to tell you <laughs> where I go. Okay, so um, why why do you have to tell me so that they know? Why do you have to tell me? Why do why do I ask you where you're going? Well, so that you know how long it, it takes before I can go home, and so that you don't worry about me as well. And why is that? Because of Lockdown? Yeah, yeah. Of lockdown. So, well. everyone, so you don't get uh, thinking that I'm too demanding. No. Um, I ask her <laughs> where where she's going, all the places that she's going, so I know approximately ta the time that she'll come home because it is lockdown and because I care about it. And there's a time that when I went to the 7-Eleven, you caught me because I didn't <laughs> tell you. I'm going out. I was about to check some of drinks there, but when I go, we already there in the bakery and caught me. Yeah. So, so I just all I want to all I want to know is where she's going and how. So I know approximately when she'll be back, so that that in in case something happens now, for instance. There are people getting beat up and whatever now during lockdown because some people are are starting to get a little bit concerned or worried that you know that they're running out of food, and and that's the reason why I really want to know. Um, after the after the after the lockdown, um, I would probably want to know if you're going out or where you're going. Um, but just so that you know, just so that she let me let me know that you're going out. And maybe they think as well that maybe I ex expect that when I get married, you, I'm going to be rich. No, I didn't expect that because mm. I didn't expect you that you have a lot of money. Because the truth is, no. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so w what you're trying to say is, um, not all foreigners. Have a lot of are rich. Yeah. Um, they may be considered well to do here, but they're not rich. Um, I just expect that you will love me like I did, like I do. That taking take take care of me. That's it. And do I do that? Yeah. That's good. That's good to know. Anything else that you'd like to add? Hmm. <clears throat> I think my life now is happier than before and get easier too because you help me washing the clothes or should I say you are the one who wash the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you just love that one. You love it when I wash clothes, don't you? <laughs> it, it, it's, it, and you are, the, you are the one who hang the clothes and fold the clothes. <laughs> well, I'm the one who wash my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they really wanted to know that. <laughs> uh, how about uh, so obviously, um, uh, your your life is at least a little bit easier. Easier. Um, uh, uh, somewhat e easier than it was before. Um, your your flexibility might not be as much, uh, but you know, um, really, ha 
to be honest with you, has you have your friends actually since I've been here, have your friends actually gotten a hold of you saying, Hey, mm-hmm. you wanna go out? Have they? Yeah. Yes, they have or no? Before? No no, since I've been here, have your no. friend has you okay. So you, so your friends kinda know that that yeah. since you have someone here yeah. and, and that like you are they, married, mm-hmm. things have cha- things have changed. Mm-hmm. They always just ask that how's married life? That's yeah. So, so when you're saying that you were going out with your friends before and now you're not, it's the it it was your single friends, Mm-mm. single friends but versus. Sometimes they just there's a there's a friend asked me that um, once uh, the lockdown's done, then maybe we can meet each other with your husband. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Anything else then? Um, what else? <laughs> well, uh, there's one. At least now there's someone that will support me. Not in financial, but support me man, emotionally. Something like that. But support do I, me whatever but do I, I want. Do I support you financially as well? I think so. <laughs> A little bit, <laughs> even just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course, because we're we're both we're both. I'm self-employed, so. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. So you're pretty, and, and so so over overall, your your life has changed. To the good or to the bad? To the good. So that's kind of a nice thing. Um, how how about how about uh, the the English? When I speak English, um, obviously I'm speaking English all the time. Um, how does that um, how is that affecting you? Are, are you okay with that? Or I am okay because at least I learn more, and I'm used to talk English now than before because before I'm shy to speak English here because you know some of the people here if you are pronounce wrong they will sometimes they will laugh at you but at least here even if I pronounce it wrong and, and I'm talking to you you won't laugh at me no that's it no I might think <laughs> well, it's cute sometimes, sometimes I might <laughs> laugh at you because it's cute <laughs> <laughs> okay um, anything else and nothing Okay, I would say let's end it. Okay, um, so bye bye, and please don't forget to subscribe and like, comment, push the button, bell button, and hopefully you like our video. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. <laughs>